Hi guys, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, my name is Yolanda or Yolanda in the city on TikTok and Instagram and today I'm going to be taking you guys along with me to my shoot day. I have a few outfits to shoot and I figured this time I would do it alone. I usually shoot with someone else with like a friend or my boyfriend but my boyfriend is like doing he's like busy doing stuff so i didn't want to bother him so i'm gonna go shoot alone with my tripod and then after we might go do some shopping i've been wanting some stuff from sephora i'm like running out of foundation so i need to go pick that up and then i also need to ship out depop orders it is about it's about to be 11 it's a little late um i usually like to shoot pretty early in the morning but i didn't want to like rush myself I was pretty tired so I took my time doing my makeup and now I'm like steaming the items that I'm gonna shoot in. I feel like I haven't done one of these like day in my life um, shoot with me type vlogs in a while. So yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot this blazer with like a cutout um, for my Boohoo haul. It's like really wrinkly so I need to steam it along with some other items and I'm gonna do that while listening to this girl that i recently discovered on youtube her name is Haley elizabeth and she does um she basically like summarizes um like murder cases and i'm like a big true crime junkie so i've been like binge watching all of her um videos and i don't know i just like to have it on as background noise and i just feel like the way that she tells the stories is like so entertaining and she She's so sarcastic, it's hilarious, but yeah. So I'm gonna listen to this while steaming the stuff. Okay, I curled my hair yesterday. So it's still kind of curly. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna like curl a little bit more like the pieces that don't really look good it looks like super messy right now but for the most part it's still curly so Okay, we are almost ready to leave. I'm just sending an invoice to my management. Um, basically, when I get paid by a brand, I have to... So they pay my manager first, and then I invoice my manager, and then my manager pays me. Sent. Okay, now we're ready to leave the house. It is 11.45 and I have all of my outfits planned here. Right now, I'm already feeling overwhelmed with the amount of outfits that I have to shoot. But um, a few of them are for a thumbnail for a video that I have to upload for a brand. Eight, nine outfits and I usually only shoot four. So we're going to see how that goes. I have all my shoes in here and then I need to grab my tripod over here. set up all of my shoes here just so it can be easy for me to see them and then my hair stuff is like under this bag i have my tripod i'm gonna put here i'm gonna go to the downtown area of los angeles to like the arts district that's usually where i like to shoot my photos i usually go to the row but i feel like i've been going there a lot and my backgrounds are getting kind of repetitive and like a little dull so i'm gonna go back to the place where i usually shoot 
the only thing about that place is like I have a hard time finding parking and a lot of the parking is parallel parking and I suck at parallel parking I just realized it's like super smoggy out like there's probably a fire near us look how bad it looks okay we have arrived at our first location I found this parking spot and I'm gonna shoot like outside of a parking garage inside like the shade but since there's like direct lighting hitting there I feel like it'll be a really good um, spot I'll show you guys when I get out because it's kind of far it's for first outfit I'm getting major anxiety right now because there's a lot of activity going on people walking their dogs I'm just nervous but we gotta do what we gotta do so Okay, here we go. Okay, this is the first spot. It's like inside of a parking garage and then the sun is here. So I'm gonna set up my tripod here. Okay. Oh my god, there's someone coming. because it was my first outfit and I feel like it like takes some getting used to at first because you're just kind of like uncomfortable and like people are looking at you and I literally had like my tripod and my phone and then I had the vlog camera like set up it was just like too much so I had to turn the camera off but then I got into it and I played around a little bit with like the background and the the way I was setting up my camera you guys I'm literally so dead at how cute these photos came out like my hair looks so good and I feel like I'm just gonna edit them right now and like post them because I'm just that excited so pretty I love this one okay I'm gonna edit them and I'm gonna post and then I'll be back to change my second outfit I just posted the picture and Changed into my second outfit it took way longer than anticipated. I literally had like 400 photos to look through. It took way too long. Shouldn't have done that, but yeah. I mean, at least I took like a little break. This is my next outfit. It's like a brown bandana top and some camo pants. And then I have some brown stilettos in the back. I have to like blot my face because I'm getting kind of like oily on my nose and like here on my smile line. And I think I'm going to stay parked here because I feel like it's going to be hard to find parking somewhere else. So I'm going to try to find a spot around here. This is the next spot. I'm going to shoot right here where that black gate is in front of this gray background. have my tripod set up. And this is like inside of a little parking lot. So there's not much activity. I mean, there's cars passing by there. There's no cars like coming in and out of this parking spot. So. Perfect. Literally the reason that I'm doing this is because I cannot walk in these heels. They're way too tall. So I got my comfy sandals to change into after I'm done. Like I literally cannot walk. Like they're so freaking tall. So I put my Lens Buddy app on infinity, so it just takes keeps taking pictures until I tell it to stop. And then I tell it to take pictures every 0.5 seconds, so it literally takes like a lot. So it gets like every little movement. Yeah, the lighting sucks here. I feel like I'm gonna have to move somewhere else because the lighting just sucks here. And I feel like also because the smog came in from the fire, it's like there's no sun anywhere. Okay guys, I found another spot and this one's in direct sunlight since the sun is literally covered by like a cloud of smoke right now. I can shoot in direct sunlight. And I'm in the sidewalk so I'm going to try to do it quick. Turns 
turns out it's in San Bernardino. There's like a fire at the university. Um, and they like closed down the 215. That's crazy that I came all the way over here. I'm already like low key kind of exhausted. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to prioritize the pictures for the thumbnail so that I can get that video up and then maybe tomorrow I'll come back and I'll um, shoot the rest. Cause I don't think I'm gonna have the energy to shoot all of these. We are here at my next location. I'm gonna shoot somewhere back there. I'm parked in red, well partially, but I'm just gonna get off really quick, so I think it should be fine. <laughs> Since the lighting is so bad and this whole situation with like leaving the car is like freaking me out I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning and shoot some looks for Miss Lola what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to Sephora things at Sephora okay so they uh, Fenty sent me their skin tint in shade 10 and 11 and they were both kind of light for me um, but I actually used the 11 like till I was finished so I just finished it today and I went in for shade 12 I absolutely love this foundation I used to have the pro matte filter one because I have like very oily skin and so I like my my makeup to go on matte but that one was like way too matte and so i couldn't wear like it would i would put it on and it would already be dry and it would be so hard to blend um, but this skin tint it's so good so i had to go in for the 12 and then i also got olaplex 
Number three, this is so expensive. It was $30 for this tiny little bottle. But my hairdresser uh, recommended this since I just got my balayage done. My hair is very dry and brittle and like just overall kind of damaged. So she recommended this. I heard it's really good. Um, so yeah, I got this one. And then I also wanted to get a contour stick from Fenty. But the shade that I wanted, they didn't have in the store. So I was able to order it in the store. And then I'm going to get it shipped to my house. And then I took a peek at Zara. They have the cutest stuff. So if you guys want me to do like a Zara haul for fall, let me know in the comment section. I'd be more than happy to do that for you guys. Um, that concludes the video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I will see you guys next time.